Myth number five, hyperbaric oxygen is dangerous. Hyperbaric oxygen is inherently safe. There are thousands of chambers doing hundreds of sessions every month. And thank God, the number of accidents that occur are very, 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 very low. That's because hyperbaric is inherently a safe therapy. At the same time, there are definite rules and regulations that need to be known and followed well in order to maintain and keep the industry safe. Pressure changes physiology. Increased percentages of oxygen change physiology. Increased pressure and increased percentages of oxygen become potentially hazardous as an environment in terms of, let's say, fires or sparks. And so you need to understand what equipment you're running or the equipment that the place that you're going to is running. You need to know what steps are being taken to keep you safe. Because while inherently it is safe, and typically it requires many things to go wrong all at the same time, for really catastrophic events to occur, you certainly don't want to be involved in one of those events. And so knowing where those lines are, knowing what the rules and regulations are, following the rules and regulations of hyperbaric oxygen will help keep this industry safe for eternity. Keep your clinic safe, keep your staff safe, keep your patients safe, or if you are the patient, keeping you safe. And so being aware of the fact that it, while it's inherently safe, Making sure that everybody knows the rules, is following the rules, and is keeping the guidelines in check, doing maintenance on the equipment, logging their maintenance, keeping the areas clean. These are all really important pieces of maintaining a safe environment. While it's inherently safe, so much of the work that we're doing, especially when we're teaching our courses, we're helping clinics implement hyperbaric inside their offices, is to help keep this industry safe so that we don't have any of these catastrophic events or ultimately even a minor injury to a patient. Because these are going to be long-term relationships with patients in your office, patients need to have positive, healthy experiences in your office. They need to want to come for therapy. And so it's not just avoiding the catastrophic issues. It's also keeping the patients happy and comfortable so that they're willing and able to commit to the long-term treatment plan and ultimately get the results that you want them to have and of course, the results that they want to have.